Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're trying to take a chain which is hanging down the side of a building and lift it onto the roof. Now, it takes more work for the bottom portion of the chain because you have to lift it a greater distance than it does for the top portion of the chain. In this particular case, the chain has mass per unit length equal to 2 kilograms per meter. The chain is 20 meters long, so it has a total mass of 20 times 2 or 40 kilograms. Again, it takes less work to lift this portion of the chain to the roof as it does this portion to the chain. So how do we do that? Well, let's go review something about work done to lift objects. Let's say we have an object of mass M and we want to lift that through height H to this location right there. The force to lift it would be equal to the force of gravity, which is the mass times acceleration of gravity, mg. And when we apply that force over distance h to there, that will then be the work done. Work is force times distance, which in this case is force times the height gained by the object, which is mgh. That's a common equation for work done to lift an object over a distance h. But here we have to do it a little bit different because we're lifting different portions of the chain at different distance. Now it will help us if we use the um, coordinate axis x as being downward, so the greater x, the more amount of work it will take to lift that portion of the chain up. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop up the chain into small little pieces of length dx. All of them will have a small amount of mass dm, and we're going to lift every piece up from wherever it is to the, to the top of the building, which means that the work done will be equal to, or let's say, let's start with the work done for a small little segment. We'll call it a dw for this little segment right there. That will be equal to, well, let's see here. It'll be equal to the mass, which is dm, times acceleration to the gravity, times the distance x through which we have to lift it. And of course, then to find all of the work, we simply have to integrate over moving all the little segments like that. So w will be equal to the integral of dw, which is equal to the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 20 of dm times g times x. Now, our variable in here is x, and our differential is dm, and of course they have to be the same variable, so somehow we have to convert dm into some units of dx. All right? So the mass dm is equal to the smaller length dx times the mass per unit length, and for convenience, we call that a constant c. c is 2 kilograms per meter, so we have to multiply it times c. So we can actually replace dm by dx times c. Again, it's the mass per unit length dm. Oh no, the mass per unit length c times the length gives us the mass of the small little segment. So this can then be written as the integral from 0 to 20, and instead of dm, we can write c dx times g times x, and then of course we can pull the c and the g out of the integral sign because they're both constants, so this is equal to c times g times the integral from 0 to 20 of x times dx. And that will then be all of the work done to pull the entire chain up onto the roof. Let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. Well, first we have to integrate. Let's do that first. This is equal to c times g times x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 20. Plug in the lower limit to get 0. Plug in the upper limit, you get, well, the, the 1 half, I'll put it up front, times c times g times the quantity 20 squared. So now to calculate the total work done, we plug in what all those are. Work done is equal to 1 half times c. c here is 2 kilograms per meter, so we put down 2. Uh, g is 9.8 and 20 squared, which is 400. Of course, that will be in terms of joules, and the 2 cancels out to 1 half. 9.8 times 400, that would be 3, 9, 2, and 0. And so that is the total amount of work done to take this chain and lift it on top of the roof. Now, to show you that since this is a linear relationship, notice that the amount of work done is linearly proportional to the distance away from the top of the roof. What we could have imagined, we could say, well, what if all of that mass of the entire chain, 
So let's get the total mass. M of the chain is equal to the length of the chain times the mass per unit length times C, which is 20 meters times 2 kilograms per meter, which is equal to 40 kilograms. Now what if that entire mass of that chain had been at the halfway point, 10 meters down, then the work done would be equal to mgh, which in this case would be the total chain mass of 40 kilograms, times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height, the height from the middle point to the roof would then be 10 meters, and notice we would then get the exact same result, hopefully. Yes, it would be. So that would give us 400 times that, or 3,920 joules. For a moment there, I thought, wow, I was not getting the same result. But sure enough, we'd get the exact same result. Notice we can simply integrate over every little segment of the chain. Or in this case, since the function is linearly dependent on the distance from the roof or the distance that we have to lift it, we can then say, let's take all of the mass of the chain, put it at the middle point, lift it from there up to there, and we would get the exact same result. And that's how it's done.